Hey everybody, welcome to the Morning Coffee Commentary. Hey, everybody has an opinion and it's based on their perceptions because of what they've gone through in their life, what they've seen and what they've heard. You can't unseen things that you've seen. You can't unhear things that you heard. You can't unlive experiences that you have. You are who you are based on where you come from. A lot of people come from a lot of different walks of life. I tell a story all the time. There's a, a wreck at an intersection and uh, two witnesses were there when the wreck happened. One of the people driving one of the vehicles was an older lady with a Lincoln Town car. The other was a young, uh, you know, teenage girl right, driving a sports car with a convertible on top on it. Now, and, and then standing on one corner was a young lady who was jogging. She just had to be at that corner at that point in time. And another older gentleman who was out walking on his daily stroll with his cane. Now, how many stereotypes can I put in one example? But I'm going to do it for illustrative purposes. When the cops come and cleared all the intersection out and then went started to interview the witnesses, they interviewed the old man first. And he said, this poor old lady was just driving down the road, minding her own business. And this teenager came out of nowhere. I mean, going faster than a hornet. And boom, hit her. Cop goes over and talks to the young lady who happened to be standing on the other corner and saw the wreck as well. And she said, look, this old lady turned into this teenager she wasn't the teenager wasn't doing nothing wrong the old lady i mean people over 85 shouldn't even have a license much less be out here on the road driving around it's ridiculous and the cops looking at both of them going okay which one of these particular uh <laughs> cases do i take right because each person is given their perspective from their opinion or their opinion from their perspective and that's the case that I'm, I'm trying to illustrate is, you know, look, Drew Brees is giving his opinion based on things that he wants, and Booger McFarlane's giving his opinion and commentary based on what Drew Brees said, based on the way he was raised. LeBron James is throwing his stuff in there. I don't care if you're a celebrity. Everybody out here has access to social media, just like I do, and they're all giving their opinion right now. And I'll tell you a couple quick opinions of mine. There's more to the Ahmaud Arbery case than, than he's just, you know, bouncing through a neighborhood and – got jumped by two white guys. Now, there's two white guys that probably were looking to do evil, and but Ahmad Arbery wasn't just bouncing through a neighborhood. That's, that's, that's a false narrative, and we hear that from the media, and, and we all get these opinions based on false narratives. Now, I'm not saying he deserved to die. I'm not saying George Floyd deserved to die. I'm absolutely, absolutely saying the opposite. I'm saying there is more to that story, and there is more to the case, and, and the justice is being done. I'd never understand how trading hate for hate is going to get anything fixed, right? And the Bible's clear on this. It says point blank in the Bible that, and Martin Luther King quoted this himself. He said, you can't trade dark for dark and make any differences. The only light can overcome darkness. And John 1, 5, I think is the verse that says that Jesus is the light of the world and only light can overcome darkness. You can't trade dark for dark. It's just wandering from one bad place to another. Not until you get light in your life and not until you get the love of Jesus Christ in your life can you actually overcome the darkness that's in your heart and in your soul and, and get a different perspective on things. And I'm just telling you right now, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I come to give peace and give love and, and to give salvation. And that's what we should hang our hat on. Worship could use a little good news today.